Hey everyone, welcome back to the makeup chair. Today I want to share with you guys my favorite products for when my skin is pale. I rarely come on camera without some form of fake tan on, so you guys never get to really see the products that I use when I am super pale. But my Snapchat friends were asking me if I would share with you some of my favorite products for when I'm super pale. So let's get started. So when it comes to foundation, you guys know I'm a massive fan of the L'Oreal True Matches and I use them all the time, but they are a little bit too dark for me. So if I'm using, say, the L'Oreal True Match Liquid, which I use in W1, by the way, it's an amazing yellow tone. It's also available in neutral and pink. I will have to mix it up with a little bit of white foundation and this is the Face Atelier Minus Zero. You can use any of your favorite foundations with this and all it will do is just change the color. So I just mix up a combination of those two and I follow my regular foundation routine using the F. 20 and just apply this all over my skin and it just really gives me a lot more confidence in being pale because I finally have a shade that's going to work for me. And to set my makeup I usually use the L'Oreal True Match Mineral because the stuff is magic but it's still a little bit too dark for me. So what I do is I take the blank canvas palette. So this is sort of like a powder version of the Face Atelier. It's a really strong pigmented white and I just mix in a little bit of that in with my powder. These actually work really well together and it just brings down the color and then I can apply it all over over my skin and it's gonna look flawless. Sometimes if my liquid foundation is just a little bit too dark, I'll just use this by itself, just through the center with a large brush. But if you just wanna use a regular powder, like a translucent powder to set your makeup, I have these options as well. A lot of the translucent powders actually darken on our skin because our skin is that pale, but these I find don't do that. As you can see, it's a nice pale color. It's not gonna disturb your makeup. The only thing is it's slightly pink toned, so if you have a problem with that, you might want to stay away from this one. This one, which is the um, loose powder, it's very similar to that one. Don't let the white color fool you because it's not the same as the blank canvas powder. This actually has no pigment in it. This won't lighten your foundation, but it just won't darken it either, and that's what I really like about it. Once I've set my makeup, I can then move on to contouring, and what I love is the Taupe Blush by NYX. It's amazing for contouring your face, especially if you're on the paler, cooler side of the spectrum. You can see the comparison between between Hoola Bronzer and this one. This has a nice gray tone. It's like a gray undertone, so it doesn't have any warmth in it, and it's just amazing for contouring pale skin without adding any extra warmth to the skin. If you prefer cream contour and you're looking for a cream contour version of this, then try out the Wonder Stick. I mean, this has a little bit more brown in it, but they're pretty dead on, they're pretty good. The other side, which is for highlighting, will not highlight our skin. I mean, it's a nice yellow tone, but it's pretty much identical to my skin tone, if not even a little bit darker. Moving from highlight to highlighter, I wanna show you guys this awesomeness. I literally just found this the other day. I've been looking for a highlighter for pale skin forever. This is a Rimmel eyeshadow in number 12, Jump. It's the most perfect highlighter for pale skin because it has no tone in it. So no yellow tones, no pink tones, just no tones whatsoever. And I'm so happy that I finally have a highlighter that I can use when I'm super pale. And the last thing that changes when I'm super pale is choosing the right blush and lipstick combination. What I tend to do is just go off the color of my lips. So if I'm wearing like a pink, I'll wear that on my cheeks as well, which is what I've done today. And this is a great lipstick for pale skin. It's number 45 by Rimmel. I've gone over the top with Ice Cream by 17, and it just works great with the Angel Blush by NYX, which I've also applied on my cheeks. It's a matte blush, but you can always mix it up with your highlighter if you wanna give it that nice sheeny glow. And I should also say that Angel by NYX is pretty much identical to the blush that's in this palette. So those are my favorite products, but I wanna hear what you guys like to use on your skin. So if you have any recommendations, please leave a comment. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next Monday. Bye. Any curls that you've seen me wearing the last couple of weeks has been using this. Honestly, the curls just last a really long time. They're so